Welcome back teachers. This presentation is a review of our staff handbook for the year. We'll go ahead and begin with our agenda. Um, I will be giving you some general information. I'll talk about the faculty handbook, uh, which is your responsibility to make sure that you review um, the schedules and then teacher evaluations. Our board goals this year are expand daily technology opportunities to students with enhanced teacher technology training. Um, and down here in K-4, second grade will also be one-to-one -one this year. Number two is increase student attendance and performance with an emphasis on district-wide STEM initiatives and cross-curricular activities. I will be giving you some more information about our STEM. Number three is increase cybersecurity awareness and develop an ongoing cybersecurity plan to monitor and maintain district technology. Just uh, quick announcements for Tuesday, August 9th. Cheekwood, Cheekwood will be taking pictures about 7.30. Uh, please, uh, they usually start a little earlier than that, but please dress professionally that day. Um, and that will be also our day for our orientation night as well. Um, special thank you to Mr. Baker and the maintenance crew. They have done a wonderful job getting our school looking like new. Uh, make sure you're shutting off the air conditioners. It's being monitored. Uh, make sure it's on the right temperature setting. Make sure you don't have any tape on the wall. And then the computers are placed near drops on the wall. Just some general information. If you need some desk or chair needs, make sure you get with Rocky. Uh, if you need instructional needs, get with me, and then bulletin board will be done by Mrs. Harvey, uh, and she will, it will be theme centered around our bucket filling. Just, just kind of getting started, we had some changes in staff. Uh, we also had some changes in staff over the summer as well while you all were off. Um, just our new staff changes, our preschool teacher assistant is Julie Anderson. Our ECSE speech uh, new teacher is Emily Reese. Our kindergarten, fourth kindergarten teacher is Courtney Long. Our second grade teacher is Renee Crater. And our third through fourth grade SPED teacher is Laura Booth. Uh, just some changes just with our staff in general. Uh, Lori Long will be doing K2 special ed and then I think most of you know that Katie Sherum is still going to be the preschool director and lead teacher and that's what that is going to be our main job this year. Just some housekeeping, just remember that we don't do uh, announcements after 8.30 or before 2.30 over the intercom. Uh, we don't want to inter interrupt your day. Um, just make sure you follow the same bus procedures as last year. If you do receive a note from a parent, please get that to the office as soon as possible because we don't take notes from parents anymore for any type of bus changes. Just make sure you have your attendance and meals completed by 8.30 and then just check your emails often, check your mailbox twice a day, and then your wall pockets. Just our focus for this year, uh, we will start looking at our new Missouri Learning Standards. Just begin reviewing those. I know they're going to be doing some professional development on that as well. Uh, be, begin looking at STEM activities. I will be sending you some links, uh, some resources as well for STEM activities. Uh, continue to use your current standards uh, for this year. Uh, technology in the classroom will always be a focus. We're still working on that and hopefully we'll get some more uh, Chromebooks down for the kindergarten and first grade as well, but we don't quite know yet. Uh, reading first, uh, our math emphasis, we sent some teachers to gregtangmath.com. This website here is, is pretty, has a lot of good information and I know that uh, Mrs. Rhodes and uh, Kathy Tarpley will be doing some training on that as well. They said it was a great conference, so I'm excited to learn more about that as well. Um, I'll continue to do our McCrow walkthroughs. Um, Continue to use Marzano's instructional strategies. We're going to use Dibbles to drive instruction. Pearson assessments and data desegregation will be a focus this year. I'm going to meet with the teachers um, on Tuesday and talk about that as well for second through fourth grade. Uh, Data-driven instruction and decisions. 
and we're going to continue with bucket filling, character education program, and then we'll do some team building. Your home packets, they should be in your rooms. Um, here's a list of what you need to do with each one of those. Uh, you'll have student packet cover letter, non-injections, uh, money envelopes, etc. And what to do with them. The slides on what to do with them. Signed, yellow sheets, collect and send that to Pam when you get all of them. Technology agreements, we need 100% of those backed and returned to Eric Shrums. Students cannot use the computer unless it's turned in. Uh, Non-injectables, student health history, contact information, update forms. Uh, send those as you get those to Missy because Missy will be updating them as soon as you turn those in. Don't just wait for those. Send those in as soon as possible so we can have that updated on the computer in the SIS system. Grade level meetings. Uh, we'll, we'll be looking at data from Dibble Next, uh, your progress monitoring and benchmarks, uh, reading interventions and tier progress, and then we're going to talk about Pearson and Common Assessments, uh, Math and Language Arts. We'll t have data-driven discussions and focus, and what can we do differently? What is something that we can do differently? And we may be talking about that more. And then just target student learning. And then we'll either meet in the conference room or in the classrooms. I think you guys prefer to meet in the classrooms, so we'll probably just meet in the classrooms. Uh, our curriculum, um, over the summer we did industrial arts and business. Uh, this is just the websites you can to log in and how you can log into those. Uh, our faculty handbook. Handbooks have been revised and added to. Special thanks to Mrs. Rhodes. Um, let's just make sure we're being positive this year because I know sometimes we get down with some of our kids frustrating us but you guys do a great job and every year we see great progress in our kids so just stick to it and be consistent and, and they'll turn the corner uh, communicate often with parents notes phones emails homework newsletters communication folders etc building a relationship with parents is the foundation for student success you guys know that uh, so just make sure that you're you're keeping in contact with parents when you're having struggling students. And if you need my help to be uh, in those meetings as well, don't hesitate to uh, ask. Professional dress, the teacher sets the tone the first day of school, uh, so let's make sure we're dressing professional. Jeans day, last day of work week, except for parent-teacher conferences, you need to dress professionally. Uh, must wear approved staff collared shirts. Uh, new teachers, you can just wear collared shirts until we get you your school shirts. Just attendance. Attendance will be done by teachers through SISK-12 in the classroom each morning. Make sure you have those done by 8.30. Uh, if you get notes from parents, just send those to the office as soon as you can. If you know why the child's absence, if you could type that in as well. Did a great job with student attendance. Uh, we got a 92.3, which is really impressive because we measure it differently now. We do 90% of the students 90% of the time, and we actually had a 92.3, so let's keep encouraging our kids to be here. I know we had some struggling ones last year, but we're going to try to stay on top of those as well this year. Hopefully, though, they won't be a problem this year. Uh, Stosh and uh, Emily will be working closely on those kids that have attendance issues and myself. Um, please complete attendance by 8.30. Process for family contest. If we do not hear from the family by 9.30, we'll attempt to contact them. Uh, letters sent at the 3-day, 5-day, 10-day, and 11 days of absence. Uh, if there's anyone in the hallways, they need to make sure they have a pass, whether it's a parent or a student. In school suspension, we don't use this very often, but this is how we pair them up. You can read that. Uh, professional policies. It's very important that you look at those professional policies in the handbook because it's your responsibility to know what those are. Um, the chain of command. Make sure you follow the chain of command. Um, I do the same thing. If a parent has called me, I first ask them if they've talked to you. And if they haven't, I send them to you first. And then if they want to meet and you don't feel comfortable doing that, absolutely 
asked me to sit in that meeting, even the first meeting, I don't mind doing that. Uh, we don't want uh, parents um, out of control. So, and, and sometimes it helps with me being there. So please don't hesitate to ask me. I'll help you in any way. Board policies, just our financial management, that payment procedures, so that you guys kind of have an idea of what our payment procedures are. Please continue to follow those payment procedures because when we have our audits, uh, they look at those very carefully and they may pick elementary someday and uh, what is your payment procedures and are we following policy? So make sure you're doing that. Uh, the sexual harassment 4810, make sure you're looking at that. Uh, 4630 for staff conduct, that is the documentation that we use to uh, use job targets. So just please make sure you know what's in that staff conduct. Uh, supervision of students, it's your responsibility to make sure you're always supervising those students. And then 4650, the communication with students by electronic media. Make sure you're looking at those and make sure you're being in compliance with uh, district policies. Uh, professionals do these things. Disagree and agree professionally. Sometimes we don't always agree. We're always not on the same page, but that's okay. Um, but let's just always make sure we're being professional. Make sure you're reading professionally. I try to read um, weekly something professional. Uh, and sometimes I send those to you all uh, via email and uh, if it pertains to you. So please take a look at those and read those. Um, it helps us grow as professionals. Uh, make sure you're a member of your professional organization. Uh, MSTA is a great organization. They do some great things uh, in the state and actually in our district. So, so if you're interested in that, get with Dr. Cooper and she can help you sign up for that. Uh, grow professionally through constant, ongoing, high quality professional development. We're gonna provide that this year. Stay active in the political process, and you, you know how I feel about that, and I will continue to uh, give you information about what's happening in our state legislation. Uh, students with IEPs, uh, just make sure it's a legal document, guys, whether, whether we like it or not, and if we need to adjust it, you need to be meeting with Mrs. Miles or the special ed teacher. Uh, so make sure you're following those IEPs. She's going to be very diligent about getting that information to you so you know what's in those IEPs this year. Confidentiality. We have a duty to protect students. Make sure we are being confidential and professional. And you can see the board policy on Missouri law. Reporting child abuse or neglect. We are all mandated reporters. You are allowed to do that on your own, but if you feel more comfortable, please speak with Ms. Johnson, the school nurse, or myself, and we can help you through that process, or we can make that process easy and do it for you. But it's very important that we are in close communication with each other so we know what's going on. Uh, so if you do make a report, just out of common courtesy, let us know, because sometimes we have to field that through DHS and they give us a call. So just please, please make sure that you're just communicating with us. Student search and seizure, you guys know you do that. You never do that. Please never do that. That can get yourself in trouble. Um, if you have sus suspicion, please come and talk to me. Schedules, reading first schedules, very tight as usual. Uh, Main schedules, uh, bells and PMs really have stayed the same. Party day schedules have stay, stayed the same process. Um, if your class goes outside or if you, or to a different classroom unexpectedly, please email uh, Mrs. Rose so she, know where, so she knows where you're at. This is very important, especially during checkout time. Master duty schedule, uh, equity was one factor. We actually have uh, reduced some of your duties uh, because of after school uh, supervision of the buses and we've changed some things around. Take a look at that. Do not use the one that's in your handbook. When I send this out, I will attach the new master duty schedule. That is the one that we will be following. And then I will give you a copy at our meeting on uh, August 9th. Uh, we'll meet for about 10-15 minutes just going over my specific expectations. Again, morning and afternoon schedules, lamp schedules. 
uh, duties. Make sure you're being on time, you're being proactive. We're all responsible for these kids. So if you see a kid out of line and not doing what they're supposed to be doing in the hallways, please remind them. Uh, send students to the bathroom in pairs. Never, never, ever, ever leave students unattended. If you're going outside, you must have a radio. Um, activities. Check with office before making any commitments. Activities in the gym. I'm sorry. Just to let us know so that we're uh, facilitating that, the administrators are. Grade reporting. Progress reports sent home. Uh, I'll get that calendar to you, and you know I'll do each weekly uh, sneak peeks to let you know. Rep report cards. If you are giving an F, you must have two or more parent contacts first and a face-to-face -face with parents, principal and teacher, prior to the end of the school school year. So make sure you're getting with us if you're having that uh, conversation with them any quarter. If you're giving out any Fs, you need to make sure you have parent contacts, and, and I'm in part of that conversation with you. Uh, grading systems, just take it out, take a look at it, same as last year's. Uh, see district calendar for dates. Update grades no more than one week after the assignment is due. Second through fourth grade will meet after our August 9th meeting to discuss grading consistencies and discrepancies. And then we're also going to talk about your Pearson uh, data that you're going to be collecting. Makeup work on a roll. I'll let you go through that and look at it. It hasn't changed. Meals, uh, breakfast prices, 30 cents uh, reduced, dollar full pay. I'll let you look it through that. I do want to say one thing. In the student handbook, that did not get changed correctly. So Missy and I will be sending out an addendum to the actual breakfast prices and lunch prices. For some reason, I don't know if I didn't change. I thought I did and I didn't. Uh, so we're going to have to send an addendum out on the differences in that. So if a parent asks you, we will be sending out an addendum on breakfast prices. This is K-12 lunch module. It's just like a checking account. Make sure students uh, and you are checking it on a regular basis. Sometimes I have to remind you that you're getting over on your balance. So please make sure you're punching in your four-digit number so that we don't have to hunt your bent down during the day to, to get you to punch it in. Photocopies. Please don't have students make copies for you. Uh, those machines are very expensive, and if they mess those up, it costs the district quite a bit of money. Finances. Finances are solid. Uh, we can't control revenue, but we can control expenditures. If you're needing something, please let me know. We're going to try to uh, align our funding to our board goals, so please make sure it's a, a want. Is it a want or a need? It needs to be a need, I'm sorry. Not a want, it needs to be a need. Uh, we're getting better. Remember, make sure you're following the four Bs. Care of the building, we have a great custodial staff. Take care of them, make sure you stack chairs at the end of the day. Have students help clean up the end of the day. Give them a special thank you when you see them in the hall. Uh, please let Rocky know how much we appreciate him. He has worked his tail off uh, this summer. And just don't hesitate to ask him to help. Um, he is always willing to help. Visitors. I expect them, but let's make sure we have it controlled. And they all have visitor badges uh, or tags from the office. If not, please direct them to the front. Crisis management, uh, drills. we're going to have those drills throughout the year. Make sure your uh, flip charts and your exit plans are hanging by your door as you go out. Uh, make sure you have your uh, student uh, list outside your door as well. Uh, the radios are being charged in Mrs. Strum's room. Make sure you put that in the wall pocket. And fourth grade radio is in the middle school office. Email me any safety concerns you might have. Uh, policy reminder changes, student handbooks is revised, updated. Four policies are, are either revised or in the process of being revised. Schedule for first week. All teachers on duty all the time for the first, actually, first two days. Actually, three days because we're gonna. I want you guys to help me on Monday as well. Uh, morning recess and afternoon, if you guys can just help that out, make sure we get that process down. 
uh, before lunch someone will bring the lunch module I think still and then the first day we'll do our senior buddies at nine o'clock I will come down and call for them I'll go down and get the kids the seniors and and then call for you kindergarten uh, we'll go to lunch at 10:45 for first three days then we will see how it's going uh, school assemblies at 805 or 2 just dismissals I'll let you look at that so you kind of know the times when we're gonna we're gonna discuss it in our meeting as well teacher evaluations make sure you look at that in our uh, handbook um, it's the same one as last year's start talking with your teammates about your slow and how you want to uh, move forward with your slow for next year or for this year teacher evaluation everyone can improve uh, this is just some of the things that we look at uh, for teacher evaluations you can go through that I did take our teacher evaluation and put it into our McCrell power walkthrough last year so we may be using some of those criteria it's aligned now okay that's it let's have a great year and don't forget to take the review assessment by August 12th um, it will be a Google Docs assessment and it's just over your handbook in general it just shows me that you have reviewed your handbook and you know what's in your handbook it is a binding document stating that you are responsible for reviewing your handbook thank you very much have a good uh, summer or rest of summer